Good afternoon, Carolyn. Yeah, the mayor took the fifth on 82 questions that were posed to him during this deposition. Attorney for the Detroit News and Channel 7, Jim Stewart, you were um, there, one of the attorneys in this lawsuit. Let me ask you, first of all, tell us, this is not something that you guys did not expect, correct? No, I think we fully expected the mayor to assert his Fifth Amendment right, as, as every citizen has the right to do. And tell us, what are you guys hoping to gain from, uh, what were you hoping to gain if, um, if he had been answering the questions? What were you hoping to find out, and what is this lawsuit all about? Well, the lawsuit is about public records, public records about the settlement, public records about the text messages that are the basis of the perjury charges and the settlement of this uh, whistleblower suit. Without a public trial now as to the mayor, the public's really not going to know until we get these records for the public. And we're talking about thousands and thousands of text messages that have never been released that the free press doesn't even have access to at this point, correct? That's certainly my understanding. I think the prosecutor said she has 625,000 of them. And so what's next at this point? Um, you guys obviously anticipated the mayor, mayor taking the fifth on this. What's next in this lawsuit? I think the next thing realistically that has to happen is we have to see what Mayor Cockrell does. Uh, I think the new administration will have hopefully a different view of this lawsuit. And I think once we see what they want to do, we'll then be back to see Judge Columbo. Okay. Thank you, Attorney Stewart. And we also want to tell you that we did talk to the mayor's attorney, and we'll have his um, what he has to say for you later on today on Action News. And also, want to, he talks about his reaction to Christine Beatty deciding to take her criminal case to trial. We'll have that for you later today on Action News. Putting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.